cook She got the recipe She got what you need That black girl magic I Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make my version of Mongolian chicken. You guys, it's going to be so easy, so quick, so delicious. Alright, so you've seen the ingredients and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell, alright? So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so we're going to be starting off with six chopped boneless skinless chicken thighs you can use chicken breast if you like and if you want to use more than what i'm using check the description box for the alternative measurements all right but look we're going to season this with just salt and pepper because we're working with a lot of sodium today with this soy sauce so there's no need to add all you know the extra things in there we just need a little bit of salt a little bit of pepper and we're going to add in a fourth cup of some cornstarch if you don't have cornstarch you can definitely use flour I don't like mine too too crispy so I'm not adding a lot of cornstarch but feel free to dredge these and fry them if you prefer I like to shallow fry these so that is what you will be seeing in this video today all right so look once you get those coated we're gonna warm up a fourth cup of canola oil over medium heat Look, you want to make sure you have all of your ingredients already prepared because this goes really quickly and you will burn some up, child. I'm telling you, don't do it. Have everything ready, all right? But we're going to cook this chicken all the way through until it's browned and crispy. This right here is halfway cooked. And you can cook it to your own desired crispiness. I don't like it too, too crispy. I want it just enough to have a little bit of bite. And this right here is perfect for me. So once we get that, we're going to take it off the heat and move on to the next step. All right, so for our next step, we're gonna work on our sauce. And you wanna make sure you reduce your heat to low cause you will burn something up. I, I'm telling y'all, please reduce the heat, all right? But add in your minced garlic as well as your one third cup of soy sauce. I'm using low sodium soy sauce. And I'm also adding in one third cup of light brown sugar, okay? That's gonna give us some great balance. And I'm gonna flavor this with a little bit of uh, ground ginger. I'm doing a teaspoon of ground ginger. You can definitely use fresh if you prefer. And I'm also adding in a half teaspoon of crushed red pepper, which is optional. If you don't like spicy, you can leave that out. All right. So we want to make sure this is well balanced and we have enough for a sauce. So I'm going to add in some water like you just saw there. And I'm also going to add in a slurry, which is made up of a teaspoon of water as well as a teaspoon of cornstarch. And that's going to help this sauce thicken. All right. You want to give it just a few seconds so it can thicken up. And guess what? All you have to do now is add in your chicken. You guys, this recipe goes so quick, so easy, and it takes no time at all. You have to go ahead and make sure you have everything ready because it goes really quickly. All right? So look, we're adding in our chopped scallions because that's a part of Mongolian chicken. I'm going to toss that in, and that is it. You guys, look, that's it. Now look, don't judge me. I know it looks like it's less in the pan with what I started with. That's because I did eat some out of there. Look, I'm human, right? It, it, it just was too good. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and plate it up. There you have it guys, our simple, quick, and easy Mongolian chicken. Y'all know it does not take a lot of ridiculous ingredients to make something easy and delicious, alright? Look, we made this in less than 20 minutes and it's good and our family is happy, alright? So look, if you enjoyed this recipe, go ahead let me know down in the comments what you think and don't forget to share this video and subscribe to my channel and guess what? I'm going to see y'all next time in the next video. Bye.